instantiating SOAP client, passing over a URL address for the WSDL um, XML document that describes a SOAP web service, we get an object we can then use um, in order to access that SOAP web service. Uh, when using a web service, a SOAP web service, um, we, sh we, we can get a WSDL file that describes it. Uh, we just need to um, browse the URL address of the SOAP web service, append it with uh, a query string that includes the word WSDL. So, if we give it a try and try to access uh, this URL address, we shall get the WSDL file that describes the very specific um, uh, SOAP web service we want to use. That XML document is passed over to the SOAP client constructor based on the XML document this URL address returns the uh, SOAP client uh, object understands um, what are the methods we can invoke remotely um, uh, on the remote object the SOAP web service uh, uh, represents. In this case the method is get quote. Uh, when coding in PHP, we should pass over an array that um, uh, each of its elements is a, a refers a specific parameter. Uh, the key is the name of the parameter, and the value is the argument itself. Here, for example, we actually invoke get quote method um, remotely on uh, a, a, an object we don't know in which language uh, that code on the server side on the SOAP server side uh, works it can be in C sharp, Java, PHP, any code uh, we in this code sample remotely invoke get quote method on uh, that remote object the SOAP web service uh, provides us with um, and we pass over uh, one argument the, the, the value docs dox as the value of a parameter its name is a symbol um, then uh, referring get quote result uh, property of the SOAP client object we actually get the reply from the SOAP web service as a result for uh, invoking get quote method. Let's see how does it look. This is the returned data.